What's good everybody? Now when it comes to vegetarian protein sources, come on, let's not kid ourselves, it doesn't get much better than paneer. In fact, I think that paneer is India's biggest contribution to the world of fitness. Super high in protein and super high in mouth orgasm or whatever it's called. Because come on, there's no such thing as bad paneer. There's only badly made paneer. So the first step, get yourself some milk, lots of milk. Now, if you're Indian and you don't know what paneer is, just just go leave the country. But if you're not from India, paneer is essentially a super high protein cheese. That's all. So when you break down milk to its constituent constituents, it's basically made up of the solid part and the liquid whey. Now, depending on the type of milk you use to make the paneer, you'll get different results. Now, in this case, I'm just taking regular packaged milk, not whole fat, not skim milk. Now, the higher the fat content of the milk, the more paneer you'll get from that one milk packet. So in this case, our job is to convert this milk into the cheese. So the first step is to just get all your milk inside one big container like this. Now, regular milk will give you about 100 grams of paneer per litre. It'll also be a little high in fat, but I feel that for vegetarians, it's completely fine. For non-vegetarians, adjust your macros accordingly. Come on, don't completely give up on paneer. It's goddamn delicious. Okay, so first steps first, super high flame. Get your container on a high flame and bring all that milk to a boil. Once your milk is nice and hot, the recipe can go one of four ways. Now remember, our job is to separate the solid part of the milk from the whey. And this is done using something called a food acid. Option 1. The acid from one entire lemon. So one lemon will do the job for about 2 litres of milk. Option 2. Regular kitchen vinegar. You'll need about 2 caps for 2 litres. Option 3. Homemade yogurt or curd or dahi as we call it in India. 1 cup for 2 litres. And finally, option 4, whey. Now when you're making paneer, the other byproduct is this liquid. Now you'll find a bottle of whey in almost every single Indian house. Every time someone makes paneer, they save some of the whey to help in making the paneer the next time. So it's as simple as that. Only thing you've got to know is that you go in with a lot of whey every single time you want to make paneer. So for 2 litres, I almost go in with like more than half the bottle actually. But at the end of the process, the process kind of makes up for itself. The byproduct whey produced kind of refills the bottle. Now this is a great point to go in with the salt. I'm going to take a little more than a teaspoon for about 2 litres, just put it into the container and mix it all up. Now this is also a great point to flavour the paneer if you're that kind of person. So go in with dry herbs or spices or whatever you want, however you want your paneer to be flavoured. Okay, next step, you just bring it to a boil. So keep it on a medium-high flame until it starts bubbling like this. And within about 5 minutes, you'll see that the protein separated from the whey. Now for the next step, these are the bare essentials you need. Starting with a stainless steel container. Ideally, it should be round. Next, a sieve. Again, that should fit into the stainless steel container. And finally, a cheesecloth or a really thin cotton cloth just to help you separate the whey from the protein. So we're going to line up the sieve on the container like this, put the cloth on top of the sieve and then finally go in with that liquid. Go super carefully initially, don't burn yourself and when you're confident, just put it all in there. Now you see those little brown bits of paneer just falling with all that white paneer? That's just slightly more burnt or caramelized paneer as I'd like to call it. Don't worry, it still tastes awesome. So your paneer is almost ready. Now, if you're one of those people who likes geometric shapes, you can either put it into a circle like this or you can put it into a mold like I did and after 10 minutes, your paneer is ready. Now, you can add these cubes of fresh paneer to gravies directly if you want or if you want a crispier version of these cubes, fry it off on a non-stick pan with minimal oil and then add it to your gravies. Trust me, it changes the flavour, makes it crispier and this method increases the shelf life of the paneer. So that was the video for today. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. You gotta remember, paneer is an open game field. You can do whatever you want with it. So I'm gonna link all my paneer recipes in the description. Make sure you take a look and make sure you subscribe to Beer Biceps because I'm just used to saying that now, so subscribe!